When using one of Mastercam's dynamic tool paths, the option to enable radial chip thinning becomes available on the tool page. If you pair an ISCAR end mill to this dynamic tool path, an additional option for ISCAR high efficiency machining also becomes available. The use of these two settings in association with the dynamic tool path results in greatly increased metal removal rates and decreased cycle times. This file contains two tool path groups, one showing the effect of radial chip thinning and the other showing the high efficiency machining effect. These settings have no effect on the tool path itself, only the speed and feed of the cutter being used. Operation 1 is a dynamic tool path set to cut the pocket of this part with a 25% step over. Open the tool page of this operation. With RCTF turned off, RCTF stands for radial chip thinning factor. The calculated feed rate is as expected. This calculation is done by taking the feed per tooth multiplied by the number of teeth on the cutter and then multiplied by the spindle's RPM. This results in 24.448 inches per minute, which is what is shown for the feed rate. If we now enable RCTF, notice the feed rate has increased. This increased feed rate is dependent on the stepover used on the cut parameters page. Decrease the stepover to 10% and then note the difference in the feed rate. The feed is now increased to 40.7467 inches per minute. Change the stepover value again. This time increase it to 50%. This time the feed rate is the same as the original. This will be the same for any stepover value that is greater or equal to 50%. Chip thinning only occurs when cutting less than 50% of the cutter's diameter. The basic idea behind chip thinning is that the smaller your stepover is, the thinner the chip will be. To make this chip the intended thickness, the feed rate must be increased. Therefore, the smaller the stepover, the more the feed rate can be increased. The increase in feed is a factor of the stepover amount. Set the stepover back to 10% and exit the operation. Rebuilding the operation is necessary due to the new stepover amount. Op2 is set to use an ISCAR chatter-free end mill and it will be cutting the same features as Op1. Open its tool page. With this ISCAR end mill selected, an additional checkbox becomes available for ISCAR HEM. Once enabled, a field showing the HEM factor becomes visible as well as a slider. The HEM factor can be set by either typing a value in or adjusting the slider left or right. Notice the feed rate with the slider set all the way to the left. 81.4933 inches per minute. Also notice that the spindle speed remains unchanged. Now, move the slider all the way to the right. Both the feed rate and spindle speed have increased. The ISCAR HEM takes chip thinning one step further by not only applying a chip thinning factor, but also applying an algorithm to the speeds and feeds to push these tools to their performance limits. The ISCAR chatter-free end mills have physical properties which reduce vibration during high-speed cuts, and they also have a coating applied which allows these tools to cut efficiently at high temperatures. The HEM factor value will be dictated by the machine being used and its limits both in feed rate and spindle RPM. But for the most part, with a medium-duty industrial vertical CNC mill, an initial value of 2 could be set. Adjustments up or down may be necessary. Also, make note of the stepover values that are available when HEM is activated. There are only three available choices from the pull-down. 5, 7, and 10%. If a different stepover value is needed, HEM will have to be disabled. What is the benefit of machining with HEM and a dynamic toolpath? If we calculate the material removal rate of the HEM toolpath and compare it to a conventional type pocketing operation, which can be seen in OP3, we'll see the improvements. To calculate metal removal rates, we can take the feed rate multiplied by the depth of the cut and then multiplied by the width of the cut. For the HEM path, Feed of 162.9867 times width of cut of 0 
and then times the cut depth of 0.875. gives us an MRR slightly above 7.1 cubic inches per minute. For the conventional toolpath in OP3, feed rate of 24.448 times the step over of 0 0.3 and then multiplied by the depth of cut which is set at 0 0.25. The resulting MRR is slightly greater than 1.8 cubic inches per minute. The HEM toolpath is removing metal roughly four times faster than the conventional path, and with the combination of the dynamic toolpath, chatter-resistant cutter geometry, and high heat-resistant coating on the cutter, tool life is not diminished. High efficiency machining, or HEM as it's referred to in the toolpath, is also known as high speed machining, or HSM. This can be done not only with ISCAR brand tools, but other end mills that are manufactured with similar features such as variable pitch helix and high temperature coatings. But without the use of ISCAR HEM algorithm to create the speeds and feeds for the cut, we are left to make these calculations on our own. These calculations will be covered in the next video.